Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 23 player review. Today's player review is for the level 30 storyline card, Brian Broby. So let's get into it. As always, I start off with the team that I used for this player review. As you can see, it is a 4 triple 2 Premier League Eredivisie hybrid. And as you can see, I did get Cal from my hero pack so he's very helpful for this review because well he gets players on chem but as you can see the Eredivisie actually does have quite a few decent players so with that being said let's look at my stats after my three rivals games as you can see on the screen I played four games scored six goals and got two assists now I did actually only play three but yet again, my second opponent quit from kickoff. I really don't know what it is about these player reviews, but my second opponent always seems to quit. But with that being said, let's head into the gameplay. Okay, so into the gameplay section we go for Brian Broby. As you can see, in my first game, it did take 67 minutes. But he does finish off with a very neat little chip for his first goal as you can see 89th minute Broby into De Jong back to Broby and he did clinch the draw for me so big positives in his first game I mean ignore the other players ratings this is the second game my opponent scored an own goal and quit so that's why nothing really happened then into this clip, Broby on the ball. I mean, as I will go into further detail, he is actually far more agile than his card says. You can see from that clip, did a couple ball rolls, got past the defenders, and he seems to do it time after time after time. And since this gameplay, I have played even more with him. And I think he's on about 20 goal contributions in 9. He is an absolute monster. So this is his second assist of the game for count. I basically scored 4 goals that were the same. And my opponent was out. So into the final game we go. As you can see this is just an absolute mess. Broby did finish it off fortunately and this is the final clip of the gameplay so De Jong into Paqueta and I will take it to the byline and he absolutely smashes it home so I'll be back with the pros and cons in a second so now that you've seen the gameplay section moving on to the pros and cons of this Broby card the first thing would have to be his lengthy run type. As you saw from the gameplay, there were times where he just has this sudden boost of pace, and that is purely down to the lengthy run type. His shooting is absolutely incredible. You saw in the gameplay, just shoot and you basically score. His passing was actually surprisingly good, considering it's really, really low. His agility and balance is actually far better than what it says especially his agility considering it says only 71 his composure definitely more than 84 you just only have to watch the gameplay section to see that he's clinical his strength he's an absolute menace holds everyone off and this isn't so much a pro but more of an observation i personally feel he actually has high low work rates even though it says medium low and I wouldn't say it's a pro or a con, it's purely just an observation. Cons are the cons, or I'll just say con, of Broby. And it's a con because it goes against what his card stats actually say. And that is his aerial ability is just absolutely awful. Considering he has 93 jumping and 89 heading accuracy, he just cannot win a ball in the air. To save his life and I don't know why but 
it didn't really affect me because I have Luke de Jong next to him. So that's my only con for this Broby card. So would I still recommend taking Ryan Broby from level 30? I mean, of course I would, 100%. It's such an easy choice, all down to the fact he has the lengthy run type, which will just make him far better than Rodriguez or Almeida. And, I mean, look at the linkability of him. It's so much better. The Eredivisie, even though they're a minor league, they're always the best minor league. And I was going to pick him anyway, prior to all the lengthy stuff and all the run types. But he did actually surprise me at how good he is. His strength, I think, is a very big factor in the fact that he can run through, but he also has the strength just to hold people off. Ultimately, he's just always going to be better than Rodriguez or Almeida. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like. Comment down below if you took Brian Broby from level 30. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any FIFA 23 content. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.